Hello and welcome back or welcome if you are new here. My name is Justina. Welcome. Today I'm going to talk about the lunar nodes, more specifically about the north node in astrology. And I will look at each house and I'll tell you what it means to have the north node in each astrological house. On a different occasion, I will look at the south node and the north node in the signs as well. But today I'm just going to concentrate on the north node in each house so in the, the 12 houses in the astrological house so first of all what are the lunar nodes the lunar nodes are points in the sky where the moon's orbit intersects the ecliptic which um, is generally the path the sun appears to follow throughout the year now in astrology the lunar nodes are considered to be very significant they are considered to be significant points that represent our karmic path and our life lessons. So here the North Node, also known as the Dragon's Head, it represents our future direction, our lessons we need to learn um, in this lifetime. And uh, the South Node, also known as the Dragon's Tail, um, it represents our past experiences and our, our talents and our skills we bring from previous lives. Now, the North Node, today I'm going to talk about the North Node, it represents the qualities and experiences we need to develop uh, in this lifetime in order to fulfill our life purpose. So here the North Node indicates the areas of life where we need to grow and expand. And um, it also tells us about the challenges we need to overcome in this lifetime. The sign and the house placement of the North Node uh, will provide insights and, and specific areas of life where we need to focus our energy and att our attention. So here, the North Node represents our destiny and uh, the path we are meant to follow in this um, in this lifetime. All right, so let's have a look at each each. Um, house now and what it means to have the north uh, node in each and every house in the astrological chart so let's start from the first house so having the north node in the first house um, suggests that um, in this lifetime the individual's soul mission is to develop a um, stronger sense of self-identity and to express themselves uh, more authentically more freely as well People with displacement may have a tendency to be shy or perhaps to hide their true nature or true, their true self from others. And they might struggle with self-doubt or perhaps a lack of confidence. Now, in order to fulfill um, their soul mission or their soul purpose, they need to learn to be more assertive, more self-assured. And they may also need to learn to be more independent, more self-reliant, rather than relying on others for validation or perhaps for support. People with displacement may need to take more risks throughout life, perhaps embrace new experiences, and um, even if they feel uncomfortable or uncertain. Now, ultimately, the North Node in the first house suggests uh, that um, individual with displacement needs to concentrate on developing their own unique identity. And here, this is about expressing oneself authentically, in the world and by doing so they can inspire others around them and uh, make a positive impact on the world here the north node in the first house can also delay uh, marriage or a serious long-term partnership because here um, the person with displacement needs to really really concentrate their energies on the developing oneself on so self-discovery is huge with displacement self-discovery self-understanding self-improvement knowing oneself on a deep level um, is really really crucial to open up to that seven house south node because there's a tendency to fall towards codependency as per that south node influence but that's for a different video the south node now the north node in the second house so with the North Node in the second house, this placement suggests that uh, in this lifetime, the individual's sole mission is to develop um, a stronger sense of self-worth 
And this is also, also connected to um, developing a financial stability, material security as well. People with displacement may have a tendency to undervalue themselves and their talents, and they may struggle at times with issues related to money, to possessions, to self-esteem. Now, in order to fulfill their sole mission or say their sole purpose, they need to learn to value themselves and their abilities uh, Mm, and this is also about developing a healthier relationship with money, with material possessions, resources. People with displacement may need to learn to be more practical as well, perhaps more grounded, especially when it comes to their approach to finances. And uh, here with displacement, it's important to develop a greater sense of responsibility, self-discipline. People with displacement may also need to learn to be more self-sufficient and perhaps rely less on others for financial support. And this is really significant because um, with the North Node in the second house and the South Node in the eighth, here that external help um, isn't always available. And if you purely rely on other, pe uh, on other people's help, then you will be very disappointed. In this lifetime, it's about being self-sufficient, self-reliant, depending on yourself financially speaking. And by developing a greater sense of financial stability, self-worth, people with displacement can create a more secure, more fulfilling life for themselves and for those around them. Now, the third house, third house uh, north node, uh, this placement suggests that in this lifetime, um, the individual's sole mission is to develop um, a greater communication skills and this is also about developing a stronger sense of curiosity, uh, mental stimulation as well. So people with displacement may have a tendency to be introverted or shy. And sometimes but they may struggle with expressing themselves verbally. Now, in order to fulfill their sole purpose or mission, they might have to learn to be more outgoing, more communicative, and perhaps this is also connected to developing um, speaking or writing skills. Now, with this placement of the North and in the third house, it's important to develop a greater sense of curiosity, intellectual op openness, and to seek out uh, new knowledge, experiences. Um, People with displacement might uh, also benefit from developing a greater sense of community or perhaps social interactions, connections. They may need to learn to be more adaptable at times or perhaps flexible, especially when it comes to their approach to relationships. And um, by developing their communication skills and, and getting involved in community life and, and engaging in community activities, they can create a very enriching life for themselves. The third house north node is about uh, what's around you. Not so much, uh, you don't have to look too far to find fulfillment or some fulfilling experiences. Just look around you, grow your connections within your community, within your area. Get involved in community activities, uh, get to know your neighbors. Now, the, nor the North Node in the fourth house, on the other hand, suggests that um, in this lifetime, the individual's uh, soul, uh, soul's mission is to develop um, greater emotional sec um, security, to develop a stronger sense of connection to the their family, to their roots, to their heritage. People with displacement may have a tendency to be emotionally detached or perhaps uh, to prioritize their careers over um, their personal life. And in order to fulfill their soul's uh, purpose, their soul's mission, they need to concentrate on developing their emotional intelligence. And this is also about learning to connect more deeply um, with their feelings and, and uh, with those around them. And they will also greatly benefit from creating a more comfortable, more nurturing home environment. Those with the North Node in the fourth house, they may need to learn to also prioritize their personal life, their personal relationships over their career aspirations. And this is also about developing a greater sense of balance between their work life, career life, and their home and family life. And by developing that emotional security and the strong sense of connection to their roots, they can create a more fulfilling and more meaningful life. People with displacement might be very ambitious and they might want to achieve um, something meaningful in their career life. So very often career is delayed. 
because uh, there is this strong attention put upon building that emotional security and uh, finan foundation, family and, and, and emotional home foundation is really important. Once you establish that emotional uh, stability, home um, foundation, then that south node energy in your 10th house will open up for you and then you'll be able to uh, make progress and achieve something meaningful, significant, make a mark overall in your career. But it's really, really essential to concentrate on building that emotional stability, security, home and, and family life. Now, with the North Node in the fifth house, uh, here are people with displacement. Um, displacement suggests overall that in this lifetime, the uh, individual soul mission is to develop greater creativity, self-expression, is to develop a stronger sense of joy, playfulness in life. Now, people with displacement may have a tendency to be overly serious or perhaps to concentrate too much on work or perhaps on, on, on responsibilities. And in order to fulfill their uh, soul's uh, purpose, their soul's mission, they may need to learn to embrace their inner child, to follow um, some creative or artistic pursuits. Now, people with displacement will greatly benefit from developing a greater sense of um, self-confidence and self-expression from learning to enjoy life's simple pleasures, simple joys. They may need to learn to take more risks, maybe, in order to achieve that or perhaps express themselves more fully, even if it means being vulnerable or putting themselves um, in the spotlight at times. So here with displacement, it's really important to, to have a passion, to have a hobby, to be your authentic self, not to limit yourself uh, or to restrict yourself because of uh, other people's opinions or what other people think. Follow your passions, stay creative, enjoy life. Now, with the North Node in the sixth house, on the other hand, here displacement suggests that um, in this lifetime, the individual soul or the incarnating soul's mission is to develop greater self-discipline to develop a um, sense of service to others so to have a skill of some sort that you could use to help others with the sixth house north node there is a tendency to be disorganized uh, or perhaps there's a tendency to struggle with managing time uh, so time management management or responsibilities and in order to fulfill um, the soul's purpose with displacement, it's important to concentrate on developing uh, strong work ethics and to take a more practical and more organized approach to life. People with displacement will benefit from finding ways to use their skills, their talents to benefit those around them, to help others. They may need to learn to be more detail-oriented, they may have to de develop a greater sense of responsibility, accountability in their work and personal life. And overall, they may also benefit from developing a greater sense of health and uh, wellness. And by developing a greater self-discipline um, and sense of service uh, to others, people with displacement can create a more fulfilling, more meaningful life as well. Now, with the North Node in the seventh house here, this is a lucky placement for relationships, unions, and partnerships. Here, the soul's uh, purpose uh, with this placement revolves around developing um, relationships with others. Now, with this placement, you may have a natural tendency to be self-reliant, independent, but your soul's uh, lesson is to learn how to work with others in a more harmonious and more cooperative way. Now, this can involve developing um, communication skills or perhaps learning to compromise and being open to different uh, perspectives. But at the same time, with the North Node um, in the seventh house, this placement also suggests that uh, you may need to work on your interpersonal skills. And this would include your ability to engage in diplomacy and conflict uh, resolution. So here, displacement also suggests that one may have to develop um, that ability to see things from someone else's perspective, understand the other person's needs, desires, and work towards finding mutually beneficial um, solutions um, to problems. Here with the North Node in the seventh house, um, the soul is seeking to grow and evolve by learning through relationships, through unions, through partnerships with others. And by embracing this lesson, one can find greater fulfillment and balance in their life.
And this can also help uh, people with displacement to develop uh, meaningful connections with uh, those around them. Now, the North Node in the eighth house, on the other hand, uh, here the, um, the soul's purpose is to explore the deeper aspects of life, to develop a greater sense of personal power. Displacement suggests that um, one may have a natural inclination towards exploring the mysteries of life, and this would include spirituality, intimacy, death, life after death. And generally the soul's lesson in this lifetime is to learn to embrace change and transformation, regeneration. And this can generally involve also facing or having to face fears, letting go of old patterns, behaviors, and exploring um, the innermost desires as well. With this placement, one may be called to develop um, their intuition, psychic abilities, as well as uh, their capacity for healing and for regeneration. And with the North Node in the eighth house, um, this placement can also indicate a need to work on issues related to trust, intimacy, shared resources, finances, for example. Here with this placement, one may need to learn to learn to open up more fully to others, to trust uh, in the power of vulnerability, to develop healthy boundaries in their relationships, for example. And here of this place when one may also need to learn how to manage their resources more effectively. And this would include uh, finances and, and also the energy, the energy, the level of your energy. So ultimately the North Node in the eighth house um, of this placement, the soul is seeking to grow and evolve through exploration of something deeper, more transformative aspects of life. And by embracing uh, these energies, these lessons, one can find um, a meaningful purpose in their life. Here with this placement, there is usually more luck when it comes to help um, that comes through other people, help through family, uh, perhaps um, financial help through family, through inheritance, through investment, but it's more difficult with this placement to earn your income just on your own, relying just on your own. Don't be afraid to receive support from others with the South Node in the eighth house, with the North Node in the eighth house, because the South Node is in your second house. So it's more difficult to uh, achieve financial freedom, independence through your, just through your own efforts. Here you are luckier when it comes to help, that comes through family, inheritance, partnerships, collaborations. Now with the North Node in the ninth house, on the other hand, uh, here the soul's mission or purpose, if you will, is to expand to knowledge, horizons, experiences of the world. And overall displacement suggests that uh, one um, has a natural um, inclination towards exploring uh, new horizons. And this will include travel, philosophy, religion, higher education. Now the soul's lesson in this lifetime of displacement is to learn to embrace diversity and to broaden um, their perspective. And this can involve breaking free from narrow-minded thinking or perhaps exploring new cultures and belief systems. And Overall, to seek out new experiences that um, challenge the, this person's worldview. This placement is connected to being adventurous, to taking risks, especially risks, risks that will push one out of their comfort zone. The North Node in the Night House can also indicate a need to work on issues related to personal beliefs or values. And here with this placement, one may need to examine their beliefs more closely and and. Uh, Perhaps question um, whether they are true. They truly align with with uh, their soul purpose. Here with the North Node in the ninth house, this is also about learning to communicate your beliefs more effectively, to articulate your ideas clearly, to li to listen deeply uh, to other people's perspectives, points of view. Ultimately, the North Node in the ninth house, the soul is seeking to grow and evolve through expanding. Mm, their horizons and embracing new experiences and by embracing the, um, these lessons and these experiences one can find greater meaning and purpose in life now with the north note in the 10th house here the soul's purpose or mission is to um, achieve success and recognition in in their chosen profession or field and this placement suggests that um, one can have a natural inclination towards uh, ambition, leadership, public recognition, perhaps. And 
the soul's lesson here, this placement uh, in this lifetime is to develop a strong sense of discipline, responsibility, and uh, professionalism as well. And it can involve um, working hard to achieve uh, one's goals, taking on positions of authority, um, of leadership. Here with this placement, uh, this placement is also connected to developing um, perhaps public speaking skills or abilities to network and build professional relationships and uh, maybe even um, understanding of the social and political structures that uh, govern society. The North Node in the 10th house can also um, indicate a need to work uh, on issues related to their relationship with authority figures. The incarnating soul is seeking to grow and evolve through achieving success, achieving recognition in the world. And by embracing uh, the experiences and, and opportunities that come along, uh, one can... Uh, make a positive impact on the world and find a greater meaning and purpose in life. Now, with the North Node um, in the 11th house, uh, on the other hand, here the soul's purpose or mission is to connect with others and work towards um, a greater sense of social justice and equality. Here, this placement suggests that one can have a natural inclination towards working with groups or perhaps communities and people with this placement might be drawn towards causes related to human rights or perhaps uh, anything connected to our environment uh, or climate change activism. The soul's purpose in this lifetime of this placement is to develop um, a sense of compassion, a sense of empathy, a sense of social awareness. And this can involve working with others to create a positive change in the world. Here, displacement, uh, one might be called to develop uh, their leadership skills within groups in order to inspire and motivate others towards a shared vision. Now, the North Node in the 11th house can also indicate a need to work on issues related to one's own sense of individuality and belonging. Here, with displacement, uh, one may need to learn to balance their own needs and desires with the needs of the group while also maintaining their own unique identity. Displacement might be also connected to um, having to heal any wounds related to rejection or exclusion and perhaps develop a greater sense of belonging within a larger um, community. So ultimately, the North Node um, in the 11th house, with displacement, the soul is seeking to grow and evolve through connecting with others and uh, working towards a greater sense of social justice and equality. Now, finally, with the North Node in the, in the 12th house, here the soul's purpose uh, is to connect with the spiritual world and to embrace uh, mm, their inner wisdom. Here, individuals with this placement might be naturally inclined uh, towards exploring the mysteries of life, and this would include spirituality, intuition, and also the unconscious mind. Now, here the soul's lesson uh, in this lifetime is to develop um, a sense of compassion, a sense of forgiveness, and also spiritual awareness. And this can involve connecting with um, the inner self and at the same time embracing um, one's own unique spiritual path. With displacement, um, one can have um, psychic abilities, a very strong intuition, as well as capacity for healing and compassion. Now, the North Node in, in the 12th house can also indicate a need to work uh, on issues related to one's own ego and sense of identity. People with displacement may need to learn, learn to let go of um, their attachment to material possessions, external success, and instead concentrate on developing their inner self. Here with displacement, one may also need to work on healing any unresolved wounds or traumas from the past. Displacement is about developing a sense of compassion, forgiveness towards oneself and others. And ultimately, the North Node um, in the 12th house, here with displacement, the soul is seeking to grow and evolve through connecting with the spiritual uh, world, spirituality. And by doing so, one can find a greater meaning and purpose in life. All right, so that's the 12th house. So here we go. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video.
And until the next time, bye for now.